Dear members and friends of Shepherd Lakes, I greet you in the powerful, grace-filled, and loving name of our triune God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I am Pastor Frank Graves, really the third pastor of Shepherd Lakes, and for those of you who do not know me, I served Shepherd Lakes from 1997 to 2008 as a spiritual growth pastor and then as a lead pastor before retiring. While there, we grew to 77 small groups at our zenith and close to 700 to 800 people involved in the studying of God's Word via small groups. Chris Chauvin was an administrative blessing to help maneuver through that exciting and integral ministry. It was a humble delight to serve Jesus Christ there in really the heydays of Shepherd Lakes. God wonderfully blessed us to have three important points of ministry during that time. One, the building you are presently worshiping in was built in. Two, God blessed Shepherd Lakes in starting a new mission in Howell. And 350 people attended that first worship service. Three, the day school was started. The preschool was previously in existence. I have always believed that significant ministry is always built on the shoulders of those who go before you. Reverend John Hirsch, my dear friend and colleague, is to be commended. God worked mightily through him and those pioneer laity to have the vision and the God-given energy to begin Shepherd Lakes as a mission. While serving at Shepherd Lakes, God could not have given me more pleasant and dedicated servants to work with. Judy Graham and Sherry Coons were the absolutely best secretaries a pastor could ask for. And Keith Dwyer is an unusual, spirit-filled, biblically-based, genuine servant of Jesus Christ. You could not have asked for better. They are the creme de la creme. Shepherd Lakes has truly been blessed with a plethora of gifted lay people as well, dedicated to sharing and living Christ and building up and expanding his body of believers here on earth. Certainly, Shepherd of the Lakes has gone through some very challenging times of late. Remember that trying times are the times when God's enemy does mold us into being what he most desires us to be, provided we listen attentively to him. Remember this, we're to rejoice when we face various trials because God is testing our faith to strengthen us in perseverance so we become spiritually mature and complete, not lacking in anything. And also, we rejoice in our suffering, knowing that suffering produces endurance and endurance character and character hope. And that hope doesn't disappoint us because God's love has been dribbled. No, been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. That is wonderful. Christ continues to look with favor upon you and give you wisdom and spiritual direction to be his reliant, powerful, Christ-empowered and directed disciple-makers. Christ be praised for his depth of work in you. Continue to be a strong blessing to bless others in Christ until Jesus' long-awaited return.